coming at you live broadcasting from downtown Portland, Pioneer Square at the Portland Fashion Week. Right now I'm standing next to the owner of the Portland Chinook and the new Portland Thunder, Mr. Terry Emmert. How you doing tonight, man? I'm doing great, doing great. How'd you enjoy the fashion show? It was very interesting. Uh, met a lot of nice people and saw a lot of beautiful ladies out there. I, uh, I really think my players would like to be involved with a maybe football fashion show where they, it's an F and F. Hey, that's a hot idea, that's a hot idea. Uh, one of the things that I would like to do is bring more music to it. To me, that was the only thing kind of missing from the show tonight. It was just, even though it's always about the designers and the models, but one of the things that my company does is put music, fashion in motion. And the players... Backfield in motion. Backfield in motion. Yes, right. Backfield in motion. I agree. I think if you had some music, you know, different types, different beats, but high energy, upbeat, and it can be songs of the 60s, 70s, and the present. It can be a combination, and you can give that move because there's a lot of great moves out there. There is. There is. What else you got going on with the team, man? We're so proud of you for bringing them to the town, even though people be pitching you a lot of little stuff about what, what, what. But me personally, I think it's a great opportunity for the city to see something like that here in Portland. Well, you know, we're really pleased to have the team, and we're very proud of how we did our first year and with 18 rookies. And uh, we got a great crop returning, uh, and we're going to have fun. And we got a new coach on board. And uh, we're making some other changes. But, you know, we're going to have Darren Thomas out there. And we're, we're going to have a Brandon Tett from Oregon also. Oh, yeah. And uh, we got Zach Ramirez from Portland State. Shout out to Zach. What up, Portland State? <laughs> yep. And so we got a lot of ta talent. And, uh, you know, we, we also have, have Bryce Pila. And Bryce Pila is a, a local Oregon boy. Sure. And, you know, we got some just great talent out there. That's good. Well, we're excited, man, and give a shout out to everybody in the town. If people want to get tickets and whatnot, how can they get a hold of you and find out more about the Portland Thunder and what you got going on? Hey, just go on uh, the web, look for PortlandThunder.com, and uh, go on the Facebook, like the Portland Thunder, and come out and watch some great, great action. And also, we'll have a new TV series coming out after the first of the year, and it's going to be called The Sons of Thunder. And it'll feature the players of the Portland Thunder and all the trials and tribulations of building a brand new sports team. It will be competing with Gene Simmons, uh, fourth and loud. Wow. And, um, and we think not only did we win in Portland, uh, but we made the playoffs. And we think our TV series will outdo fourth and loud. That sounds good. If you need a host, man, don't forget about Jay Mack, all right? <laughs> well, much love, y'all. I'm here with Terry Emmert. Portland Thunder, Portland Chinook. Have a great season next year. We're looking forward to it. Stay tuned for more Dozen Magazine exclusives. One Love, broadcasting from Pioneer Square, Portland Fashion Week. One Love, y'all. Thank you, man. Pleasure meeting you. And you forgot the corduroy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We rocking the corduroy, y'all. We, 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 we got the old school corduroy, baby. Right. <laughs> One Love. Let's put it all together. That's what's up. And that fashion show idea is going to be off the hook, I think. <laughs>